I'm just thinking we, we need to get Today, the Austin City Council is considering two proposals that could dramatically change how you are represented. The council is currently composed of six at-large members and a mayor, a system where all of Austin votes for all members. The change would create up to 10 single-member districts and a mayor, meaning you'll vote for the mayor and one district seat. Some think this will make the council more accessible and more accountable. You represent fewer people, so you're able to be accountable easier because you not representing the city as a whole. If you had district representation, you would know, I can go and talk to this council member if something is up and he has a vested interest in listening to what I have to say because he wants me to vote for him again. But while the council agrees with these points, they are still far from a solution. After creating a charter redistricting committee, which suggested a 10-1 plan, the council is now debating an additional two plans. These plans differ on the number of districts and how those districts' lines would be drawn. But one thing is for sure, voters could have up to three propositions to vote for on the ballot this November. But while the two measures debated today must pass to be on the November ballot, the original 10-district plan is taking a different route. That plan is supported by Austinites for Geographic Representation a grassroots organization which has obtained 29,000 signatures to put their measure on the ballot. Their plan is different from the council's because it calls for an independent redistricting committee. And with the documented support of ordinary citizens, they're confident the measure will win. Regular Austinites have already been gathering petition signatures. I don't think that they're going to forget which plan that they worked for when they go to the ballots in November. Andrew Moore, Texas Newswatch.